everyone and welcome. Welcome to the Stock Swish Show Market Review. This is the QQQs. Look at the market rallying today. Market rallied today and started rallying at 9.32 and never looked back. And it would have been aggressive to buy the market in here today. I was watching some other things, so I didn't call this into the open. I called this later on and, I mean, that was a good call. I did see the market this morning in the gap down and did think that the gap down would hold. And I also said in the room this morning that the market's going to hold this week, meaning that even if we didn't hold today, which I did think we would, and I said that we would and we are, I still thought we'd hold this week. And then even if we broke in here and fell in the gap down today, we still would hold. But I really felt highly confident that the market would hold in this area, which it's doing. So here we have the market holding, although I did point out in the room this morning that I, I said there's a small, small chance that the market could have a big rally today. But I, I, I said, you know, this is a weird area, meaning it's a weird area for us to hold in here, meaning that don't expect it to have a big move today. But it actually is. So the small chance is taking over. Why? Because the market's strong and buying can commit at any point in time that it wants to, even in a weird area. And that's what makes this really, really good. The fact that this is holding in such a bizarre area here, as far as the fact that it got down this morning, is holding like this so quickly, means that it is extremely strong. And it's extremely strong, as you can see, by the fact that it's rallying here all morning. It's 1019. This is the low of the day in the market today. Will not be broken. Market will rally as 100% retrace the bar from Thursday. It was the last day the market traded. And the market's just going to run. Market could power trend all day today, and I wouldn't even put it past it. To buy the market anywhere in here today, go long. <laughs> okay. This green will hold into the close. I thought that there was a possibility the market could attempt to get short on the 15 minute. It hasn't set up yet. If it does, it's going to fail. So don't short it because it's not going to go anywhere. The market's just strong. And this might, that might even not even fake lower like that because it's so strong here. But I think it's going to. And then flip. Market is along. Market is going to hold. Market is great chart. Let's review this. I know a lot of people think that the market didn't make a new high, made a lower high, and another lower high, and a lower low, and another lower low, but it's not broken this trend of this chart. Again, you have to know how to read trends. I teach that in the trend class, but really the golden gap class teaches me what somebody's going to do in the gap. And I saw the market gap down this morning in the QQQs. I knew this wasn't a gap I'd even touch as a short. And not only that, I did think it would hold here as a long, which it did. So the market is still in the uptrend. Last week was a holiday week. People were off. Nothing significant happened last week that broke this chart. I know we did gap down in here this day. I know we came in a little bit, but there was nobody who was making any big decisions about any last week of any institutional positioning. The market was slow, low volume last week. Everybody's back. All of a sudden, everybody's back at work today, and look at how the market's getting bought. Okay, the people in charge, the power players, the people that make decisions, the people that have the money, the people that rule the market are buying it, and that's a fact. Okay, as evident by the chart, everything I see today just confirms it, which I saw this morning in the gap. And I'm not even surprised that we're rallying through all the morning here, that we're going to rally all the way up through the number today because I knew it would happen this week. And, it, and it, I knew it would happen this week. Okay. But this is really just, you know, this is not a great place here for it to be holding, meaning like it's a lot, it takes a lot of strength to hold this place, but it's doing it. And that just confirms to me the utter just bullishness of this market. And look for April to be a very strong month. Look for April to go and make a new high here of the most recent high in the QQQs. Look for April to get us up on through 110, up to the next numbers, 112, 112.50. Market will make another area over itself. I, I, I'm not saying that we get over 120 this month, but I got to be honest with you, anything can happen. The market's getting bought. Can we make an all-time new high in the queues this month? Yeah, we could. We could because it is only April 6th. Now, I'm not saying we definitely do this month, although we definitely do this year, sooner rather than later, like before the summer. But, you know, it's only $10 away. It's only $10 away. <laughs> so we're going to get up over 110 soon. That could even happen in the next week. Could be the next two weeks, but we'll see how aggressive we rally here up on through after today and the rest of the week. Earnings season starts this week for second quarter. Will be a lot of momentum and volatility in the market next week. Next week, next week for sure, get up on through 110. But 120 will be hit up on through, if not in April, May, June, early summer, early summer, gee, those numbers above 
I mean, this, this, this move, this bullishness, everything I've been talking about, I started talking about this in September, October, November, December, I really talked about it in the email I sent out to the room. You're going to see us get going now. You're going to see us jump on it. The market, you're going to start to finally see everything I've been talking about with the market, although you've been seeing it. You know, this happened in February. February was a very bullish month. April's going to continue. You're going to really see us get going here now this spring. Just really see it happen of the bullishness in the market. So this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. If you're interested in the Golden Gap class for spring, for earnings season, if you want to trade second quarter, it is April 11th and 12th. Email me at Melissa at the StockSwish.com if you'd like more information and want to sign up for the class. Again, great time to trade and make money with me in the live trading room here in second quarter. April, May, good time to trade here. And lots of opportunity and gaps. And then also to get my live market calls in the morning. Like, look at this market. Look! <gasps> this is so... Wow. I saw that this I saw that we would hold here this morning. I mean, I, I knew that we would do this, but I didn't I didn't know if we'd crazy, crazy rally like this today. I, I thought it might be tomorrow, but I'm not surprised we're doing it today because I did see we hold it here. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this this is like the QQQ's ETS and the spy ETS are like the best charts to look at to study charts all in the market. And I'm telling you, I'm calling them so well. And so many people are airing in their read of this these markets. The market's bullish. Wow. It, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. If you want to learn how to trade and read charts and, and really learn how to trade based on technical analysis, then my Golden Gap course teaches you. It teaches you how to trade gaps. It teaches you how to read charts correctly to analyze price and technical analysis points, which people don't know how to do right. They think they do, but they don't. I'm telling you, this is how I know how to do this stuff and call it before this even happens. It's because I know how to read price. And I know how to read price because I know how to read gaps and vice versa and all over the place and it all goes together. Great, fabulous, great call here by me. Have a great day, everyone. If you're interested in the Golden Gap course, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great day, everyone.